Hi, I'm Mark Sacco, and I'm here with a Mitsutoya Quick Vision Apex Pro. I'm going to show you how to output to MyCat Reporter. What is MyCat Reporter? It's a program that allows customization of results from QVPAC, and it's included free with QVPAC 13.3 or higher. So let's get into it. For this example, we're using this Mitsutoya demonstration block. MyCat Reporter is a separate program, so obviously the first step is to run the program. In my case, I have an icon on the desktop, so I will start from there. You could also find MyCat Reporter under the Start menu. So let me double click on the icon. MyCat Reporter will open. Here's the interface like you see here. And really, under Report, you have two options. Create Report or Edit Template. Create Report does exactly what it sounds like. It will take results from QVPAC and output them to a report that you could then save. Edit a template allows you to customize what that report looks like. So I'll start with an example of how to edit the template. So I'm gonna click on Edit Template. There's two templates built into MyCat Reporter, Template 1, Template 2. I could either start with one of those templates and modify them, or I could start with a blank template. So in my case, let's start with Template 1 and edit that. So I click on it to highlight it, then click OK. And Template 1 will open up, and from there I can make changes. So here in Template 1, you see that we have our logo up in the top left, measurement report as a label here. All of our user info will output here, and all of our measurement results will show up down here. If I want to change anything or move anything, I simply left click on it to move it around. If I want to add features, all I have to do is right click, menu comes up, and I can choose what I want to add. So for this example, let's add um, another Mitsutoya logo. So I can click on image, and from here, I can click on insert image. Let's pick our Mitsutoya logo here, click open. We could move that, let's say, down to the corner and maybe shrink that down just a little bit. So once we have the template set up like we want it, we could click save. Now the default templates built into MyCat Reporter, template one and template two, cannot be edited or overwritten. So I have to give this template a new name. So let's call it exactly that. Let's call it new template and then click save. And now that we have our new template, we could close. And if we go back into edit template, just to double check, there's my new template. So you don't have to edit a template or create a new template every time you output from QVPAC. You only have to do this if you want to change a template that already exists. Once you have the template created that you want, now you could simply output from QVPAC into my cap reporter. And for that, you use create report. First though, we have to run the QVPAC program and send those results out to MyCat Reporter. So in the QVPAC side, you obviously have to have a program written, which I already have an example program here. Then before running the program, go up to program, go to multi-run and choose export report data. By checking that checkbox, all of my results from QVPAC will be imported into MyCat Reporter. When you click okay, the program will begin running. And here you can see the program running. And all that I do in this example is just measure three diameters. You can see I purposely have one diameter out of tolerance and all three diameter measurements have now been sent to MyCat Reporter. So if I switch to MyCat Reporter and now if I go up to create report, I could choose any template that I like. So let's choose new template, click okay. And here I have all of my programs that I've output to MyCat Reporter. So in my case, my program was called Demo Block. And here I have all of the run data from every time that I've run my program. So let me choose the most recent run. And here you can see the three diameters output with their nominal upper and lower tolerances and whether they pass or fail. From here, I can now save this as a PDF. So that's how to output to MyCat Reporter. You can see how easy it is to output to PDF. If you have any other questions and also to see other how-to videos, please go to mitsutoya.com.